Hello everybody, Zeno here, and I know I'm super late about the discussing of a Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch since people have been speculating what the heck they're going to do with Smash Brothers the, for the franchise ever since the Switch was announced, and what they're going to do next anyway. But I finally wanted to do my discussion on it and to see my suggestions on what they should do, and we're pretty much going to talk about it. So yeah, I thought now would be the right time, or close to the right time, to start talking about the next iteration of Smash Brothers, if there's gonna be one, because this is generally the time where something new would get announced. I mean, if you remembered way back then, a couple years after Smash Bros. Melee was released, you know, in 2005, that's when they announced that um, a new Smash Brothers was coming out, which ended up being Brawl, and that ended up getting delayed till 2008. But that was general. Uh, that was generally uh, that was about four years of waiting before we had any, you know, further announcement to it. And I know there's that weird exclusion with Smash One and Melee only being a two-year gap, but we're gonna exclude that from now since the development time of Smash Bros. generally gets longer because there's more characters, more stages, more maps, more modes. You know what you mean? I mean, you've, if you watched us, you probably played at least a Smash Brothers game, so. Seeing how we waited technically almost six to seven years for this Smash Brothers to get announced, Smash 4, that trailer didn't drop until 2013, in the middle of it, and then the game released in the um, holiday of 2014. So there wasn't really a delay of sorts for that, probably because it's already been in development for years and years and years. But seeing how technically it's been almost now, this is really early because it's early 2018, but almost four years since that Smash Brothers trailer got announced. Nintendo has to have something planned, they have to have something up that sleeve there for this, because this is selling like hotcakes. They're getting their online thing ready to be, you know, paid service, because it's still free right now. But it's free until they say this, the holiday of this year, so... People already speculate that's when they're going to announce something worth paying online for, like Smash Brothers. And I think they might do that this year, but what's it going to be? Because people think Nintendo's are going to do the cheap thing and just make like a Smash Bros. 4 Deluxe or 4 Switch. Because, you know, the name gimmick. But then, then you know, they're just going to think it's a bundle of like the 3DS stuff like remastered in HD and then all the Wii U stuff and the DLC all bundled into one. And that would be perfect. But I would be totally fine with that, but I would you know, on a on a fanboy level I'd be pretty disappointed because it's been a couple years. Now the only reason why I feel like they would do that instead of announce something else right now is because technically it hasn't been three years, I mean four years since they made a Smash because if this one, it gets trickier because they actually made DLC for Smash 4. So that means they were actively developing characters, stages, maps, and features during that time frame, you know, after the game came out. And the last piece of DLC actually came in, what was it, the beginning of 2016. That's when Bayonetta came out and she was the last character to come with Corrin and Cloud, you know. So... There's that time gap, that window gap. Technically, it's like a year and a month of content that they made for the game, and I'm pretty sure they don't want to have that all go to waste, and they could easily just port the game to Switch, and boom, Smash 4 for Switch. Everyone's happy. They can go home. Money in their wallet. But if they've been secretly acting on something new, like a new Smash, I don't think that's like... I don't think that's likely... But I actually would want to see something that pro players and people who just kind of like the game like me want to see. If you look over on this thing right here, it's Smash Brothers Melee. Now, put, I mean, this is all, this all gets relative to if they're going to ever put virtual console on this thing. Or at least freaking announce it because they've been putting old games that were released in the arcade for sale on the eShop for this thing for months. For technically, since the game came, I mean, the system came out. So, 
virtual console's got to be something. They, I think data miners have seen code where they can actually see, like, find ways to not, not implement, but they can execute ROMs like for the for the GameCube, the GameCube ISOs. Find a way for them to get um running on this thing, and if they're gonna do, if they're gonna ever put Smash Brothers Melee on this thing. What are they going to do to change the game to fit it? Because this, and even the Pro Controller, this is a problem actually we need to address. The Pro Controllers do not have analog R and L buttons. This does not either. So, one thing, I know it's a minor thing, but shields in that game, the lighter you press it, the lighter the shield gets and the bigger it looks. So, that's one thing they might have to change, or the people are just going to have to deal with that you're automatically at max shield. But other than that, would they, they, they're they probably going to increase their resolution if they're just doing a simple port of, like, you know, emulating, emulation of it, kind of like what Dolphin does. But if they were just going to do that route, or were they going to find a way to copy the engine? And I don't, I don't, I, I say that in layman's terms, because I'm pretty sure they'd have to develop a new engine that can simulate the physics of the game a lot more accurately with better <laughs> graphics and stuff. But if they're going to do that route, so we can actually have higher definition lighting, um, better polygon, I don't know, better models, you know, redone stages. If they were to do that, I feel like it'd be a very, very, very nice way to appease to hardcore fans the series. But then another problem that becomes addressed is why don't they just make a new one in the first place? Because Melee only has 25 characters to play as. Well, when you look at Smash 4 or something, you see 50, I think it's 52. So, yeah, there's a huge, you know, jump on playable characters and things you can do in the game. So, I don't know what they're going to do. I want to I want to hear your guys' predictions on it because it really, it's just ball, you know, just, I don't know what the heck, no term for it. I can't think of a term right now, but literally Nintendo could do anything. They have they, they could do anything they want right now and we wouldn't see it coming. I mean, the very most predictable thing we can get is Smash 4 Switch. But would they want to do that and announce Virtual Console and release Melee? Is that a good idea? I don't know. Are they gonna make a new one? Are they gonna announce a new one? It's just something that I think about before I like go to bed every single night. It's like, what the heck are they doing? Because I like playing the game a lot. I'm not good, like, tournament players, but I enjoy every single one. And you just, I just want, I just want to take a game to go. You know, I don't care which version. You put freaking Brawl on the Switch. I don't freaking care. I want to play Smash on the go. That's not a 3DS because I bring this around with me now. Not my 3DS anymore. May it rest in peace, even though it's not dead yet. But, I don't know, you guys discuss it, just help me talk about it, because I don't, I don't know. Even N64 Smash, because that, that's childhood right there, but that's not everybody's childhood. So, yeah, tell me what you think about it, because I keep saying it, and I'll let you guys go. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you were entertained in some sort of way. And I'm just going to sit here and eat my turds. <laughs>